about to do one of my little handbag reviews so I totally hope this is going to be helpful or useful um, so today I'm going to do a little review on the Gucci uh, Gucci Dior saddle bag which is at the minute is like the latest craze it's everywhere it's in magazines um, it's all over the internet and all the fashion bloggers vloggers everybody they all love them so this is what they are they are a vintage saddle bag and they're made to look like the saddle of a horse and then obviously this is your long bit and then that's your stirrup that you stand on when you get on a horse so I do own it in two sizes although I've just had a look on Dior's website and I don't think you can buy this one anymore this is the larger one and I think this is the only size that you can get at the minute whether they're going to do different sizes I'm not sure but I've just checked the measurements of the one on the current Dior website and the measurements are the same as this bag so they are exactly the same size it's just the age that's different so I thought this would be useful if you perhaps think about treating yourself to one and I may be thinking of perhaps getting one off eBay or a pre-loved site or something rather than paying the I think they're about 2000 something pound on Dior's website which is an awful lot of money for a handbag so you can pick up some bargains off uh, eBay and stuff, although because everybody knows they're quite popular, the prices have gone back up again. So they're still not the cheapest thing in the world, but you might stumble across a little bargain. So I just thought I'd do a little video to show you what fits in them, because obviously they are a small handbag. So they don't look that small, I don't think. But when it comes to putting stuff in them, they are narrow. <laughs> so you really do struggle. So I thought we'd do a bit of a comparison to my Gucci Marmont Small because again, this is quite a small handbag, but they are a bit like a Mary Poppins handbag. You can fit tons in them and they're not that much different in size, but obviously the saddle bag goes upwards, whereas this is sort of square, well, oblong, so it's still, it will always hold more obviously, but it holds a lot more than you think it would so I thought we'll see what fits from here into here and then obviously the bigger one as well so get yourself a cup of coffee I've got mine ready dun, 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 dun. I must show you what mug I'm using it's so cool the handbag of glory mug of course it had to be a handbag mug didn't it <laughs> so right let's get this open this is fully stuffed so this has got loads of stuff in it so we'll put the stuff on here and then we'll see what it what it fits into. So I've got a little pochette in here, Le Vuitton small pochette, which has got lipsticks and stuff in it. I've got my sunglasses, which are not the smallest sunglasses in the world, but I love them. They're Dior. Um, I've got a little purse, which is not designer. It's just a leather little purse, which is medium sized. I've got some tissue, um, some chewing gum, some receipts some uh, Nurofen like tablets, in fact I think they're empty, so that's an empty packet of Nurofen tablets, <laughs> another lipstick um, and a lip liner. So that's my Gucci bag empty, so we don't need that anymore, so goodbye Miss Gucci bag, let's put you over there, out of the way. So right, we've got the Dior saddle bag, so they have a slip pocket on the back, which has got a popper and then a little slip pocket. Then we've got Velcro, liftable, and they've all got Velcro. I know some people are like, oh my God, an expensive bag with Velcro. They all have Velcro. Um, and then it's got a small opening. I don't know if you can see this. It's the opening is not very big. And then it has another zip pocket behind it. So first thing you think, well, you're definitely going to need your purse because obviously it's got your money and your cards and stuff in it. So let's see if we can fit this in. I can put this on here so we can see if I move out of the way. Right, so purse number one, that goes in. I mean, obviously you can have a smaller purse, but we'll come to that in a minute. So there's a the purse which has gone in, but it has more or less filled it. So my sunglasses I take everywhere with me. So again, let's try the, the sunglasses. Um, and we're about full. <laughs> Let me just see if I can fasten it up. Yeah, I can. I can still fasten it up, but obviously I haven't got my lipstick. Ooh, I haven't got my little pochette thing with all my other bits and bobs, and I haven't got my tissues in. Um, so obviously you wouldn't be able to fit your pochette in there as well. There's like just no way it would go in. Um, you'll fit your tissues in. Obviously they could shove down the side. 
and your lipstick you could put in, I think it would fit in the zip pocket at the back, I'm just going to zip it and see, it's just as I've zipped it up, <laughs> now unzip it, and push those in there, yep they're just in, zip it up, um, now you're probably thinking as well, well I've got car keys and stuff, so my car keys are here, which is a Liveton six ring key holder, and the key so obviously the bag bit's full so whether it will fit in the, the pocket at the back it would just I mean you could take the, the key holder off you could just slip your key in um, so I'll just try that yeah you could if you just got a key without this big key holder on it the key would just fit in the back of it um, so now obviously it's full so they sit really they do sit really really comfy on your shoulder they're so lovely to carry because they have quite a wide shoulder strap so they just sit really really nice and obviously they don't fall off your shoulder you can move about dance whatever you're shopping walk down the street run <laughs> and it won't come off and obviously they're safe your purse is secure it won't fall out or anything it won't get stolen because you can keep your hand over it keep it all safe. You can also carry them in the crook of your arm, like so. And again, at the minute they look really stylish, they're so trendy. And then the latest fashion, which a lot of um, vloggers and bloggers and stuff have done, they buy a long strap, which I bought this one off eBay, and it clips over the C on one side, and then, try and get it straight, clips over the C on the other side like so and then what they do and what the fashion is is to wear it cross body with like a really lovely strap now the Dior straps are I believe over a thousand pound um, I think this one cost me about five pound off eBay <laughs> so that's personal preference if you're rich treat yourself to the Dior one if you're doing things on a bit of a budget like me, get yourself one of eBay. <laughs> so that's it, sort of worn crossbody. But that seems to be the fashion that is how they wear them. Or they may tip them to the back and wear it at the back. Um, they seem to wear like big coats and stuff as well. So um, whether I fetch my big coat and try it with a big coat on. Let me go and get the coat and try. Right, so I've got my big coat on. So let's try it with a big a big chunky coat. Yeah, so this is probably what we're all gonna be looking like in um, winter 2018. <laughs> so this is what the Dior saddle bag is like. So again, if um, if you don't carry as much stuff as me, maybe you're a bit more sort of lightweight, I have got a couple of other options here for us as well. So I'll take all my stuff out. I'm going to take my coat off in a minute as well because I will be too hot in the middle of August. So I lift all my stuff back out. So I have got a smaller purse here. So this is just a little skinny dip one, which is more of a going out purse. It's so glittery. How pretty is that? So again, that will just drop in there really easy because obviously it's a lot smaller. And then I've got a little card holder, again, which is quite glittery. That's... Um, so this card holder is an old accessorised uh, monsoon one and again it's really glittery and pretty. So again if you travel light so you can just have like a smaller purse, little card holder and again then your keys would fit in and your lipstick's still in there and your tissues so your keys would drop in and again it's not stacked too bad so I think if you were using it for shopping because obviously I go out shopping quite a lot I think if it was cross body, I think you'd easily be able to access your purse. Let's have a look. There's nothing worse than when you're in the middle of a queue and you can't get your money out. It's so embarrassing. Yeah, that's fine. I can just grab my uh, little purse and go. That would be all right. But again, I haven't got my sunglasses in there, have I? Which is a big no-no for me. I love my sunglasses and I take them everywhere. So again, you'd probably have to have a smaller purse if you want to take your sunglasses with you. 
Or we might be able to just squeeze it in, but I'm so scared of damaging my sunglasses. Yep, and I've dropped my purse. <laughs> so as you can see, although it's a gorgeous sort of trendy bag, you can only fit certain things in and you have to fit them in in a certain way. Um, but it's hard, isn't it, because it's so cool. I really like it and I love the fact it's so trendy. It's like, it's just amazing. And I really don't know what this one is made of. It's just really, really weird leather. You can see that. It's very interesting. I have no idea. Very strange. But uh, I know I've also got my Vogue magazine, but I just wanted to show you, look, there they are on the back of the magazines. So like I said, look, they wear them with a shorter, well, a longer strap. Um, that's shorter than the strap that I've got. And they wear it across the body, like so. But it is the same thing. So if you look on eBay, I'm sure you'll be able to grab yourself one. Uh, look, there we go. Right, so while I'm doing this review, I did think I would just show you the double one. Um, because obviously you get the same effect, but without the sort of slopey bit. So you do get this extra corner, if you can see this. So that one just goes up like an actual, well, back of a saddle, I suppose. Whereas that one has got this extra corner bit. And it's surprising when you've got this extra corner bit, how much more stuff you should be able to fit in it. Take the sunglasses and bits back out. And the lipstick, can't forget my lippy. Um, right. So, for me, I obviously like to carry a bigger purse. So, I'll see if my bigger purse will fit in it. Yes, it will. And obviously, my good old sunglasses. They go in. Yes, they will. And then obviously your lipsticks again will go in. I still don't think you'll get your pochette in there as well. Um, no, you won't. You just won't. You have to give up with that. <laughs> just have to make sure you've got your lipstick with you. Um, and obviously your tissues will fit in, no problem. And your car keys again, because we need our car keys, don't we? But again, because of the extra bit on the back and the extra corner bit, my car keys will fit in the back, no problem. Um, let's try it with a long strap again. Take the strap off the smaller one and just unclip it. So again, you'll get the same effect with the double bag, but obviously it carries more, so it's probably really a better bag. But this isn't the current design, and I don't think they still do this one. So if you want to be really, really on trend, then obviously the smaller one is, is the most fashionable one. But the more practical one is this one. So let's have a look. Oh, I'm a bit hot when my coat on. <laughs> so, again, they wear them over your shoulder, like so. It's just the same as the other one. It sits really, really comfy. It doesn't slip, doesn't move. Um, and again, you can wear it in the crook of your arm, like so. And then you can also, again, once you've attached your long strap, this is a reversible strap, so you can have fancy or stripes. And then you can wear it across body. And there we go. Ta da! <laughs> what do we think? Do we like them or do we hate them? I know they're quite a sort of Marmite bag. I think some people absolutely love them. Some people hate them. I know it was a lot of people's first designer bag back in the 90s when they came out. So do we think the trend will continue? Or do you think the bubble will burst? Very funny, isn't it? Uh, it fascinates me how it's come back in fashion. I just think it's amazing. I love it. I just love handbags. It's so interesting. So that is my little review. What do we think? I really hope this was useful. And if you are thinking of treating yourself to one, like I say, off eBay or any other selling site I really hope that this has helped you sort of see what you can fit in them because obviously they're a very funny shape um, I think I prefer this one because obviously it holds more so it's easier to use whereas maybe if you go out a lot at night then this one would be really good just to put your card holder and stuff in and again at night you wouldn't need your sunglasses <laughs> depends what sort of lifestyle you lead really um, so that was my little review of them I hope this was useful. Um, if you do enjoy handbags, um, life in England, because I do do the daily vlogs with all my handbags with me, uh, then please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on Instagram and Twitter as Mrs Crazy Bag Lady. So 
there we go there's a bit of vintage Dior history for you so I think these bags are from 2004 it says on the little information card so they're quite old ladies really aren't they 2004 2014 so they're 14 years old so I don't think they're in bad condition for 14 year old handbags and there we go so thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you all very soon bye Oh, and any questions, just pop them down below. And if I can answer and help, I will do.